JR, Mr. Barnes is out there. Good. Send him in. Mr. Barnes, come in. Uh, Barnes, when are you going to get over this disgusting habit of barging into my office anytime you feel like it? I thought you'd rather hear the good news from me than from a stranger. The only good news I'm going to hear from you is that you are out of my life forever. Well, now, you better get used to the fact that I'm going to be around for a while because we're practically neighbors. If you have something to say, say it, would you? Yeah, what I want to tell you is that I bought the Wellington property right next door to you in Lubbock. Well, that's impossible. I happen to have an option on that land. Yeah, but I got there first, and I should be drilling inside of a week. The only people who knew about it was Westar and Cartel. Mary Lee. She double-crossed me. She knew I wanted that land. Or was it Jordan? Oh, no, you're right. It was Mary Lee. She and I are now partners. See, I want to tell you something, J.R. I want to tell you what your problem is. You just don't know how to treat women. What did she go to you for? Because she knew that I would enjoy seeing you beaten just as much as she would. And everything I did for that woman? <laughs> Including her husband's suicide? He was a loser anyhow, you know that. And you promised to marry her? Get out of here, Barnes, before I throw you out. I'm tired of looking at your face. <clears throat> oh, listen, now there is just one more thing. Now that I own that Wellington property, there isn't anything I can't give Sue Ellen. There's no way that you can keep us apart. Well, hell, I might even invite you to the wedding. Get out! <laughs> You just get dumber and dumber every day. <laughs> <laughs>